Welcome back to the Serengeti. The team is heading out to the southern plains where the migration has come full circle. With life still far from normal in much of the world, the Serengeti is thriving. The wildebeest have lots of young, the plains are lush and teeming with life. Safari guides John B. Kibuyu and Richard Knocker, award-winning photographer Paul Joynson Hicks, and inspirational filmmaker Eliza Powell set off once more to take you into the thick of the action. We hope this helps to brighten your day and remind you that we're all still here, ready to welcome you back on safari as soon as you're ready to travel again. Well, morning all. Um, as you can see, we're on another dawn patrol. Um, and today we're off to the cradle of mankind, Olduvai Gorge, or properly Olduvai Gorge. It's a really cool place with a wonderful story, um, which we hope to be able to share with you in a little while. This is a world famous archaeological site where our early ancestors, Nutcracker Man and Handy Man, lived nearly two million years ago. There was a lake right here at this spot, surrounded by lush vegetation, which attracted lots of different animals, including our early ancestors. Now, when these animals died, their bones were perfectly preserved in the ash from the eruptions from nearby volcanoes. Happened about a few hundred thousand years ago. A few hundred thousand years ago. Yes. So here I am standing in the bottom, uh, bottom of Oldupai Gorge, the cradle of mankind, and we're very lucky to have with us today Godfrey Olimwita, who's been working here for years and years and years. The most important finds here, Australopithecus boisei, is right. a gentropus, right. 1959. Yes. This is the first hominid to open the door. So now, just round the corner here, Godfrey, right. they found that other important. Homo habilis, which was from 1960. Right. Homo habilis is a man with ability of using hands yeah. and made the first primitive tools, yes. nicknamed handyman. Handyman, because yes. he had a toolkit. So you've got this living at the same time in the same place. Right. You've got Australopithecus mm -hmm. and you've got Homo habilis, right. as far as we know, living at the same time in the same place. Right. That's, that's quite exciting. Can you imagine? It? Yeah. yeah. Big fossil of a giraffe. <laughs> Ooh. You wanted to see this. Ooh, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> there's a bit of fossil. There's a bit. There's a bit. There are a lot of fossils as well as this one uh, from a leg bone of a big animal. Right. And uh, it's, it's not easy to identify because it's a very small piece. This is really amazing. So listen really carefully. When her trunk light snout bends down and forward, she's actually making a whistling sound. It must be, it's not an alarm call. It must be some kind of a communication with her partner. Even Richard didn't know about this. Have you ever seen a happier creature? So I've just come across this beautiful lioness, huge tummy, fast asleep in a tree. Isn't that magnificent? Look at that. And I thought, well, I'd better do a close up just in case Mama Simba, Ingela the lion lady, would like to know which lioness this is. And look at the whisker spots. Well, while I wait for her to deign to wake up, open her eyes and look at me so I can take a photograph. Why don't we just have a little look at her photo tip. So, you see where I've got her head on the right hand side? That's because she's pointing to the left. So, the space in the left in which for her, her to look at, we've, we've covered this before, but I think it's, it's a really important compositional thing. If you've got a creature or a person looking to the left or the right or walking from right to left, say, then leave space them to walk into, run into, or look into. It just creates a much more gentle and pleasant on the eye composition than, for example, that. See, for me that doesn't work at all. You've got a huge piece of tree in the way, and uh, I'm not liking that at all. So, back to this, that's what I'm liking. Now open your eyes. Come on, come on, Puskat, open, open up. I've been here about an hour. It's getting boring. Do you know what she's going to do? She's going to open, eye, open her eyes while I'm filming. So we won't be able to take a picture. 
Well, that was actually a lovely day at um, Old Dubai Gorge. I really enjoyed talking to Godfrey today. Thank you so much, Godfrey, if you're watching. Now, let me tell you, because um, Ngorongora Conservation Area has got so much more than just what we've been seeing in the last few days. First and foremost, of course, is the crater, world famous uh, Ngorongora Crater. You've probably heard of it, uh, full of game, most beautiful backdrop you can imagine. Um, alongside Old Dubai, the things that go along with Old Dubai is Les Toli, um, where the footprints were found, amazing footprints, I love that exhibit. Um, but also the Living Museum, where Mary and Louis Leakey lived, and it's a, a monument really to their amazing efforts here at Old Dubai. Um, you've also got amazing things like Ilkarian Gorge, this extraordinary narrow gorge cut through the living rock. You've got Nasera Rock, this enormous great monolithic chunk of granite, extraordinary, 100 meters high. Um, and you can even go and visit the elef elephant caves near the main gate. You can go there on foot, it makes a lovely walk. And you can see where the elephants have been digging these deep caves looking for minerals in the dirt there. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Right, well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Ndutu series is a wrap. And a huge thank you to all of you wonderful people for watching us, mm, interacting, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. and enjoying the series. We've had so much fantastic feedback. We've had so many amazing sightings. Yeah, we really have. Yeah. It's been it's an brilliant. amazing time. Really so thank you all very much indeed for making it worthwhile for us. So we've got a few very short but sharp thank yous. Uh, firstly, we would like to say a huge thank you for our amazing partnership with the Ngorongoro Conservation Area Authority. You've made it really easy for us. You've been a brilliant team to work with. We'd particularly like to say thanks to Joyce and Gaia in the PR and Sam and his amazing PR team running around. You guys are brilliant. So thank you all very much thank indeed. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. Um, we'd also like to say a great big thank you to Paul Strabel at Bushlink oh, yes. and Habari Node. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You guys Maybe have been internet. incredible. Um, the internet connection we've had here in the bush has been unparalleled, uh, untapped, unconstrained. It's been amazing <laughs> and you've made it all feasible for us to do. So thank you all very much thank indeed. You. And then a huge thanks to Rob, Stephen, everyone here at the lodge. You guys have looked after us so well. Thank you so much. Oh, I've been fabulous. It's been you guys much. are amazing. Yeah. Thank thanks. you so much. Thank yep. you. Yep. And finally, huge, huge thank you. And couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much for all of your support. And You're fabulous. <laughs> we love you, Ange. We love bye you, Ange. Bye. Love you, Ange. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.